And Lewis and Clark Public Health are warning everyone that attended the Let Freedom Ring concert on October 3rd to closely monitor themselves for symptoms of COVID-19. MTN's John Riley reports. Public health officials say multiple individuals that tested positive for COVID-19 in recent weeks say they attended the Let Freedom Ring concert in the Helena Valley earlier this month. Health officer Drenda Neiman is concerned given that when they tested positive, they could have been contagious at the event. Neiman says right now it's not about the debate of whether the concert should have been held, but letting people know about potential exposure. It's really hard for public health to do contact tracing in a situation like that, where we don't know who was there or who is necessarily um, close to who. Please watch for symptoms. Please be aware that you may have been exposed. Um, keep an eye and monitor symptoms and stay home if you have any symptoms and um, get tested um, and certainly work with public health on isolation and quarantine if it, if it comes to that. If anyone is experiencing a high fever or trouble breathing, they should seek medical help as soon as possible. A significant crowd size attended the Let Freedom Ring concert, which included three bands, vendors, fireworks, and an appearance by Congressman and gubernatorial candidate Greg Gianforte. A large portion of those in attendance did not wear a mask or socially distance more than six feet during the concert. Organizer Jerry Steed says people knew the risks coming to the event and believes public health is trying to blame cases on the concert. I want people to be safe, of course. I think I, we owe it to all of us. But for the health department to act like everyone's too stupid to look out for their own self-wellness is ridiculous. Last week, Lewis and Clark Public Health requested the assistance of the county attorney's office in regards to COVID-19 guidelines not being followed at the event. The county has yet to make a decision on what or if any legal action will be taken and are awaiting additional reports from the Lewis and Clark County Sheriff's Office. Reporting in Helena, John Riley, MTN News.